Uh, good evening. This is the September 26, 2018 meeting of the Finance Committee. It's 7 o'clock. We're uh, starting on time tonight. Uh, our agenda is we're going to be uh, reviewing and voting recommendations on the October 23, 2018 Special Town Meeting Warrant Articles. We're going to uh, review vote on transfer requests. Actually, we're just going to ratify some verbal approvals done a couple of months ago. Uh, we will reorganize. Uh, we've got some minutes to take a quick look at, and then we'll adjourn. So a, uh, a pretty uh, tidy schedule tonight. So we're going to start with the uh, special uh, town meeting warrant articles. And actually, I'd like the CFO, Ed Kazanovich, to give us a summary of what's happened since uh, the approved uh, town budget. Ed? Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, in summary, since our annual town meeting, uh, we now know what we received in actuals for our local receipts. Um, we actually received 1.4 million, more than estimated for FY18. We also had closeouts of 691,000 of surplus appropriation, which led to a free cash certification, which we forwarded to you once received it, of 12,254,536. Um, as that applies to our amended free cash policy, that gives us a net gain. We actually had a $2.2 million gain. But as you, as you recall and as you recommended for FY18, we spent $675,000 of free cash, so our free cash actually went down from last year's certification. So this year's certification from that net adjusted free cash is about a $2.2 million increase. Um, so the, uh, the gain is actually 1.4 off the, the adjusted 1,470,146. The policy uh, as amended uh, would allow us to spend 735,073. We are requesting through uh, various warrant articles, total free cash appropriation of $730,700. In terms of the operational side of the budget, budget as it applies to Article 2, uh, we are recommending an increase in various accounts of 103883 most notably, we're requesting a $25,000 increase in our salt and calcium. I think when we went through our budget deliberations uh, back in the spring, we indicated to you that if we had the resources to do so, we'd like to amend that even further, uh, which is good because that, uh, given our, our history, we've uh, over uh, expended those appropriations and relied on uh, our reserve account to bail that out. So it, it takes a little pressure off the reserve account by ratcheting that up $25,000 more. Um, in terms of level of taxation, based upon the uh, amended Article 2, um, we are utilizing 31.53% of Proposition 2.5. Um, which would allow us to increase our excess levy by $737,576.11, given our excess levy balance of $5.3 million. Um, that would mean, given the numbers that presented to you tonight and given our estimate of new growth, which is now $609,000, uh, as of most recently, which is up from 475, we'd be taxing at a rate of little over three quarters of 1%, which is 0.7882 out of two, out of possible two and a half. So it's below 1%, uh, which is very good. Uh, so we're trying to limit our level of taxation on the residents in the community. Uh, so, Mr. Chairman, that's an update. I can answer any questions as we go through the Warren articles. Um, we try to get this to you well in advance to give you an opportunity to review it and maybe ask any questions before tonight's meeting. Great. Thanks, Ed. And I know <clears throat> you and I had a uh, conversation uh, earlier this week talking about this. Uh, I did have one question that's probably more just for emphasis anyways on the salt and calcium. So between the original budget and this further increase, what's, what's our total increase in the annual budget now from last year? Do you have that number? 
I don't. I didn't bring my budget book. No, um, that's, uh, that's fine. I, I know we added some. We went up from budget. three three hundred and eighty one thousand to four hundred and forty three. Yeah, I'm, I'm, if I was to guess, I'd say we're probably up by seventy five thousand. Seventy five. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was somewhere around there. And that's uh, that's fine, which is a great increase in the budget, not one time. I think to put that into perspective and just to show you the concern that we have, I think over the past three years, we've asked for transfers approaching roughly 160, 170,000. Um, after we tr after, out of the reserve, after we tried to, um, you know, make that whole through various surplus appropriations, town wide. Uh, so certainly it is a concern of ours. Um, we do look at trend analysis and we try to <laughs> at least come close to our three-year average as best way that we can. And I believe I heard the DPW director who is here saying you bought 500 billion million pounds of salt just yeah, this past 700 week. Tons. 700 tons. I can't envision that. So was that about? My salt shed full. Salt shed, well. I won't even ask what that costs. 20 tractor trailer loads, 25. For those at home, that was about 25 tractor trailer loads, so <laughs> once again, I Mr. Think Chairman, one other, one other comment relative to snow and ice. Um, there was a declaration that recently was brought to our attention uh, that we qualify for, for the January storm? March. March storm. Um, it was a long duration storm. Uh, we are uh, submitting um, uh, invoices and reimbursement costs that would be eligible for that. Um, so we're hoping that we are gonna get some reimbursement from FEMA. If we do, we'll put that in a reserve account in either um, at a future town meeting, request an appropriation from that FEMA money, and maybe to um, load up the salt shed. We'd like to use it for snow and ice, try to take the pinch off of future years appropriation if possible. Great, okay, that's fine. Okay, so we've got 14 uh, Warren articles in front of us. Uh, article one is just the uh, reports that uh, some of us are stuck giving. Um, article two, uh, as Ed mentioned, We've got what, probably, I think there were in excess of a dozen smaller transfers, which, you know, or increases. Total increase is $103,000. I'm gonna open up to any questions on the individual. I'm not gonna read through this whole thing in terms of these uh, increases. Are there any questions on this? And I know we've had it for a little while anyways. And if not, I'll, I'll accept the motion on Article 2. Motion to um, recommend Article 2. Second. Any further comments, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Who was so voted? Thank you. Article 3 to see if town meeting will vote to appropriate $1,850 from the state primary election account number 250107-57004, an updated assessment on records management. Uh, the town clerk couldn't make it this evening and she dropped off just a note on this. Uh, I believe explaining the article, the Warren article, this is per Deb Grimo, the Warren article sponsored by the town clerk is for an evaluation done by King Inf Information Systems, Inc. They will come in and do a two to three day assessment of all of our records stored in the vault and upstairs in the attic of town hall. The vault is in need of space organization, shelving storage, upgrade, and modifications. This would work towards a new implementation of a record system on their recommendations, uh, what will need to be retained as well as indexing records uh, to be quickly accessed when needed. Uh, any comments, questions? Motion to recommend. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, so voted, thank you. Article four, see if town meeting will vote to appropriate the sum of $9,700 from general fund revenues for turnout gear washing machines. Uh, this is sponsored by the fire chief. Chief Coleman's here. Um, any questions on this for the chief? Kevin? Uh, chief, just briefly, what do we currently do for washing turnout gear? Good evening, thank you. Uh, we currently have one turnout gear washing machine out at the West Street Station. That uh, washer is about 25 years old. This washer, uh, if approved, would be placed at headquarters, and then down the road, uh, we would be looking to replace uh, the washing machine that's out at West Street. And does that 97 cover all plumbing costs and other? 
So yes, we, we hope it will. The washing machine itself is $7,800, which leaves us about seventeen five for installation. Um, the plumbing is very much like a washing machine. We have a residential washer in place where this one is going, so the plumbing is already there. Um, and as far as the necessary electrical, it requires 220. We have a dryer there as well, so there's already 220 electrical. So, yes. Thank you. Any other questions? No, motion to recommend. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, so voted. And thanks, Chief. Appreciate that. Article 5, Chief Town Meeting will vote to appropriate the sum of $300,000 from free cash to the Town Stabilization Fund uh, or anything relative thereto. This is from the Town Manager. Per my discussion with the CFO, do we have uh, a targeted use for? the $300,000? So next year we have built into the CIP um, year one the replacement of the field turf down at the high school uh, and we've already earmarked 300000 of stabilization as a down payment towards the installation of that replacement turf. It's so about a $600,000 cost so we want to put down as much as we can up front and minimize our borrowing costs as best we can. So this 300 is targeted mm -hmm. for the, and this is the football well, field. Well, it, right, it's the football field, uh, not the all-purpose field. That's why I was asking. Just the football field only. Um, I mean, there's already $300,000 in the stabilization account. There's about approximately $3.2 million. Uh, we had a discussion with the school superintendent basically saying we would support that if you would support future contributions going to the stabilization as an offset to that commitment. So they're, they, they're committed to do that as well. So uh, in essence, the, this 300 will go towards uh, that field turf cost. So. And I believe you had mentioned there will be future payments to pay off the 600000 So year one, we have $300,000 appropriated. That will come directly from stabilization. In years two, three, and four, there's $100,000. Any questions, Kim? Yes. Um, Eddie, how old is the field? The high school was built and started to be built in 2004. It was um, finished, it was ready in 2006 of September, so 12 years. It was underwater in 05 while it was still in construction, True. so um, I remember that in the fall yes. of 05. And yeah. what's the life expectancy? So I think the life expectancy of the this turf here, I believe, was 10 years. I think the life expectancy is a little longer than, uh, I, I believe it's 15 years now. Life expectancy of regular grass. <laughs> I don't know that we have anyone here to answer that question, Kim. I, I, I get that. Is uh, Pete Corio here? <laughs> <laughs> uh, any other questions or comments on this article? No, motion to recommend. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? So voted. Thank you. <clears throat> article 6 to see if the town meeting will vote to appropriate the sum of $100,000 from free cash to the town OPEB, other post-employment benefits liability trust fund, or act on anything relative thereto. This is also sponsored by the town manager. Any questions on this? Kim? I meant to ask under the last one too, what will this bring our um, balances up to in both OPEB and stabilization? Do you know? I think OPEB is just shy of three million, not including this year's five hundred thousand. So I think this will bring OPEB up around three point six, three point seven million. Stabilization, I believe we were at two point eight, two point nine. This would bring us up to about three point two. Stabilization, do we have any other verbal earmarks? for any of the other funds in there? Uh, we just applied 100000 towards the truck this year for 19. Um, oh, no, other than the field turf, no future earmarks yeah. at, this, okay. at this point. Okay, just so we're sure on that. Okay, any other questions on Article 6? 
Motion to recommend. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed, so voted. Thank you. Article 7 to see if town meeting will vote. This is to repurpose following unexpected bond proceeds. This is basically we've got some leftover monies and we're trying to address these on a much more aggressive basis than in the past. Uh, was about 15 or 18 items here. Uh, the, the larger ones we're talking about was the Council on Aging replacing their generator, just over 10,000. Uh, carpet at Pheasant Court, 11. Thousand, the handicap red door at the Council on Aging, 6,000, uh, and other handicap improvements, another 7,000. This is all to go to police replace weapons um, and uh, accident re reconstruction equipment. Total amount requested to be, I, I, I guess, repurposed for these uh, police items, $51,302.25. My understanding, these are funds that have already been raised, correct, Ed? Mm -hmm. Uh, they, have, they have been borrowed, they've been borrowed. And, they're, and they're surplus proceeds. Okay. And uh, I'll open up to questions on any of these accounts. Kim? Um, it looks like about $23,000 in Council on Aging unexpended. Is there a reason why they didn't expend this? So I, I know uh, the replace the generator, um, a lot of that the generator already existed. It was a transfer from another department, so it had to be rewired or whatever. Um, a lot of that work was done by our own personnel, which led to a savings, mm -hmm. as well as the handicapped doors. A lot of the work was done by uh, facility management, which led to some additional savings. So all these projects have been completed. They yes. just didn't cost what? Correct. That's what I was asking. Thank you. Kevin? So just to clarify, so the, the items listed above are the projects that were completed not costing as much or completed in other manners. Mm -hmm. You're looking to have that money to go towards the two bottom, which is replace the police weapons and the accident reconstruction equipment? Correct. Okay. And why was it, did we not have money? Why did not the, uh, the weapons and the reconstruction equipment come up during regular um, budgetary concerns, that's not a... Um, actually, these are new asks, and quite honestly, I was hoping that uh, Officer Gustafson was gonna be here tonight, because he was at the board meeting, ready to give a PowerPoint presentation, and I was expecting that tonight, but I, I don't know, I can't answer that question. I know there was a, a study done, um, and it had to do with officer safety and things of that nature, but I, it wouldn't be fair for me to answer those questions. I guess I would have some concerns only because typically in, the, in that realm, uh, even used weapons have a considerable value to the point where it, that full cost is not always there. A new, if a new weapon's $1,000, you might be getting $800 in trade for your old weapons or in some cases a complete one for one. So I'd be curious to see what their quotes are from the vendors as far as the in and the out of the existing weapon systems. I know there was a trade value, and I want to was I want to say it was about three hundred dollars per weapon. Okay. Um, I guess I'd like to hear the proposal before I would put my okay. approve on that. And then on the reconstruction equipment, uh, obviously there's a need for that. But on this regional team, they do a lot of work outside of our town. Does that regional team contribute any money towards equipment that's utilized uh, in other communities, or do we just kind of we buy it and everybody else uses it, sort of thing? Um, I don't know if there's shared equipment on a regional basis, but I know that uh, this equipment, the, the, the actual value of the ask was $9,000. There are some additional funds in a special revenue account that we were gonna supplement in addition to this uh, amendment here. Um, I don't know what the equipment consists of, uh, but certainly we can get you those answers. Okay, I, I guess I'd like to hear on both of them before I... Sure, Ed? Um, Ed, generally what happens to unexpended um, bond proceeds if they're not expended? Is there, after a certain amount of time, like what would happen to that? So I think there was a recent amendment legislatively at the state level that allowed a, a residual balance to close out to the general fund. That wasn't the case up until this uh, amendment. Um, typically, when we go out and borrow money, you have 18 to 24 months to fully expend those funds. Okay. Um, 
and if they don't, you need to repurpose them and expend them as quickly as possible, or we could be faced with what they call arbitrage issues. Mm -hmm. You can earn income on borrowed funds. Okay. So if you do, then the IRS can come in, they can audit you, uh, they can determine how much income uh, you earned on those borrowed proceeds, and you have to pay back not only the interest earned, but there are penalties and fines that go along with it. So we try to stay on top of this as quickly as, as we can, um, and that's why we do an annual, annual review and try to repurpose those funds as best we can. Okay. Mm -hmm. Question. Any other questions? Uh, Ed, can we determine from the, I'll call the coding on the left-hand column, what year the bonds were? For instance, the first one, was that from 2007? So I can tell you the first one yeah. was already amended once for highway ventilation at a town meeting, at the annual town meeting in 2015. So okay. that would have been for fiscal year 2016. So it's the second column of uh, numbers. So okay. um, other than that, where it says 302012, that's the fiscal year that it was approved. That doesn't necessarily mean the funds were borrowed in that year. Okay. Um, you, you, we're allowed to short-term borrow for a period of two years before we convert it over to a long-term borrowing. So it's either the year that is indicated under the 3.0, or it could be up to two years later. Okay. Um, given the questions that Kevin had good questions on this, uh, once again, I'll remind, we do have an opportunity to put a hold on this, and my guess is it would be part of maybe just a quick meeting before fall town meeting mm -hmm. to get those answers. I just want to make sure that's an option out there. I'm not allowed to make a motion on this. Any other questions on Article 7? Do, do we have a motion on this? Um, a motion to hold. take no position until town meeting. So move, if yeah. we take no position, I believe then that doesn't, I don't think that affords us to allowing the police to come in and discuss this with us to explain right. this. Right. No. We'll make a motion to rec make a recommendation at the special town meeting on this article? Mm -hmm. Or do we have time for one more meeting before? Well, like I said, we could we could meet right before. This may be a couple of quick answers mm -hmm. from the police. That's why I think we, we could hold this mm -hmm. uh, until that meet. You know, you know we don't like meeting more than mm -hmm. five seconds more than we need to that night anyway. So, uh, but that's something we could do to get answers if we want on this. And I believe they'll be on a hold and then request the police to come in, Sharon, if, if that were the case. Uh, yeah, in essence, you'd, you'd be taking no position till town meeting. Okay. And, and making the recommendation. At the <clears throat> so that's what the, your summary would say with the warrant. Okay. Can we do that under a taking no position then? Okay. So. Uh, making a recommendation at town meeting. That would be the All right. Point. So. I think Ann had made an initial recommendation of Second. no making no action on this, right? No position until town meeting. No position until town meeting. Do we have a second on that? Second. All right. Any further discussion on that? Would we be able to get the presentation ahead of the meeting before town meeting? So if we have questions, we can communicate those out. Mm -hmm. I have not seen the presentation, although um, it is my understanding one was prepared and ready to be presented to the board in consideration for their position on Monday evening. Um, they did not ask for that presentation. Um, I think they took, took a position of approval on the Warren article. I can reach out and see if I can get that presentation in advance and get that to each and every one of you. Okay, and if if need be, we need to bring in, I'll say one of the police officers, Officer Gustafson maybe, or someone, uh, if we need to have a meeting beforehand, well, I think we would anyways, we, we should take a vote on this. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll do that anyways. Okay, so we'll work that out. We, one of the good sides, I guess, of meeting a little earlier tonight versus closer to the town meeting. Mm -hmm. So we have a motion to take no action and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Oh, so voted. Thank you. 
Article 8, City of Town Meeting will vote to appropriate $40,000 from overlay surplus for miscellaneous building facility improvements. Uh, those improvements, their capital improvements, town hall improvements, carpet paint gutters, $25,000, West Street fire improvements, $5,000, boiler conversion in the Merriam building, $10,000, or anything relative thereto, from the town manager and CFO. Any questions on this? We do have the fire chief here if there's any specific questions on the uh, West Street improvements requested. Um, yeah. I have a question for Ed about overlay surplus. Do we close out, what is overlay surplus and how often do we close it out? Because I'm assuming that's what we're doing here if we're using the money. So, um, well first of all, this $40,000 the need is greater than that, but we, we don't have the time to dedicate to making some additional improvements because of the backlog of our facility maintenance. So typically we vote $100,000 a year. We just, even if we put $100,000 of need out there, we couldn't get to it. So we figured we could get to these items based upon the scheduling and the time that facilities has uh, for fiscal 19. In terms of overlay, um, the assessor and I review that um, every year. We review it when we uh, approve the recap sheet. We have to certify with DOI what our balances are, what our outstanding liabilities are, either through the appellate tax board or any other outstanding liabilities that have not been acted on. Given that we know what we have potentially is overlay surplus, that doesn't mean we have to vote it out at that time. Um, so we know we have some exposure, given that there are some cases pending before the appellate tax board, uh, and we try to clean up the older years. It's actually combined now. DOI lets, lets us combine it into one account through some recent amendments. Um, but based upon our outstanding liabilities, we can make recommendations that would free up some money and apply it towards one-time expenditures. Um, sure. I know, so do we put, we put money in there every year at the annual town meeting? Is, is part of the budget? We raise it on the, we raise it on the recap sheet. It's on the recap. So this is just, this is covering um, any potential liabilities that would come out of um, to, um, land court. Is that what you're saying? Right, or, or um, a disputed value, property value, All real right. estate tax value for either residential or commercial properties. All right. Now we have, I mean, Auburn has a large tax base that is made up of commercial industrial property. So any given year we could be faced with some exposure if challenged or if a um, taxpayer thought their property value was not in line with, with either market value or with other properties in town. Um, so we raise about $450,000 a year Typically, DOI requires a percentage of your total tax base be appropriated through the overlay to protect the town and protect for any potential liabilities and exposure that may, that may bubble up during the course of the year. Um, in some cases, could be held or not heard for three or four years, so um, sometimes we don't clean it out until those cases are, are settled. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. So, do we have a motion on Article 8? Motion to recommend. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? So voted. Thank you. Article 9, City of Town Meeting will vote to appropriate $33,500 from free cash for the purchase of modern websites for the Town of Auburn, Auburn Fire and Rescue Department, Auburn Public Library, and Pekacha Golf Course. Uh, That's from the Director of Information Technology. Mike found the article. Can you come up and join us and just give a quick on what this is doing? This, uh, I heard this the other night, and I know you gave the long-winded hint, hint speech on that, so the short and sweet, uh, sure. this is a great, great investment, I think. Anyways. So our current website <laughs> is not very user-friendly. There's a lot of problems with it and what we want to do is modernize that to be user-friendly, have 
be mobile friendly, as most people use phones and tablets nowadays, uh, have great search functionality, and even on the back end too, um, it's difficult for us to use, and this will give us a lot better um, <coughs> ability to update the website ourselves. So basically, it's just uh, modernizing all those four websites. I like that. That, that was <laughs> quick. I'll open that up to any questions, because um, I'll be the first to say I'm not too phone savvy anyways, but I do go on the website, mm -hmm. and it is a clunker compared to other towns' websites that yeah. I'll occasionally go on and just see, comparing some stuff. Um, so Mr. Uh, Chairman, this is a six to nine month project? It's several months. Uh, have it written down. 16 to 25 weeks. So that 16 is the short end, 25 is the long end. The website, when's the last time that was updated? Yeah. I can't figure out when they're spraying for mosquitoes in my neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So up to six months. That's fine. Any questions, Mallory? Uh, so through the chair, after the initial investment to purchase the websites, will we expect an increase in operating costs to maintain the site? Yes. Um, the, first, uh, the first year is covered with that uh, cost. <clears throat> uh, year two, it's uh, $5,500 to maintain it, and then beyond that is a 3% increase. How does that compare with what we're paying now for? Right now, we're paying 3000 just for the town website. Um, roughly 300 f includes the golf course and the fire department. And I'm not positive on the library. I'm not sure what they could pay. So it is more. Yeah. But uh, about a $1,500 increase based golf on. Golf course website just, it sucks. It really does. Yeah, I know. So I'm blaming Bill for that. <laughs> that falls under him, I think. <laughs> Any other questions on this? Yeah. yeah. Um, how come the um, the police department is not included in this? They have their own technology department. They have their own website, which is a lot more modern. They use a WordPress-based mm -hmm. site, which is uh, considered a modern website, okay. as opposed to what we have. Thank you. Yep. And I assume Chief Coleman uh, is on board with this up upgrade that's going on. That's a big thumbs up back there. <laughs> so uh, that's great. Any other questions on this? Mallory. Um, one sure. more question. So will you be able to take um, payments for items through these websites? More yes. Recently? Part of um, what they offer is a payment processor directly through their site, um, which goes out to different vendors, uh, payment vendors. And is there a fee associated with that that's absorbed by the customer, or is that another fee for the town? There's usually a fee based off of the vendor that you go with. Um, right now we're using Unibank as our vendor, and that's based off of the vendor themselves. So that's something that the customers would... Customers would yeah. absorb. Good question. Okay. Nothing else on this? Motion to recommend. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed, so voted. Thank you. Mike, thank you. Thank you. Article 10, see if the town meeting will vote to appropriate $100,000 from free cash for new playground equipment at Franklin Park and Boy Street Tot Lot, uh, sponsored by the DPW director. Uh, Bill Coyle is here. Bill, you get the next few articles. If, if, feel free to come on up anyways. Absolutely. My understanding from the other night is uh, both of those sites, some old and probably not nearly as safe as they were uh, equipment and about 50-50 in terms of the split cost on the, on the two playgrounds? Yes. Uh, good evening, members of the Finance Committee. Uh, so we had a few complaints in the past couple months at both of these playgrounds and so we did visit them and you know we recognize that a lot of them are very dated um, some of them go some of the pieces of equipment actually go back probably 40 years um, so we did have our consultant evaluate them and it's, it's about a 50 50 split to upgrade both parks would be about fifty thousand dollars and considering it's uh, a safety issue we felt it was something that we should probably move on mm -hmm. Okay, and, and just to keep this in perspective, I remember going to a meeting with the school department with Dr. Brunel and Joe Fahey, 
back, I think, when the middle school was opening and we were moving some equipment around a little bit, mm -hmm. but we dropped two or 250 grand, I think, on the Swanson Road mm -hmm. uh, playground for, for the kids uh, themselves. So this stuff is fabulously expensive. Mm -hmm. um, Absolutely. I wish I was a little smaller. I'm sure I would get some fun out of it. But. And, and I do think a lot of the equipment that's out there currently came from other sites, I think from the old, old schools when new equipment was purchased. So um, it's definitely at the end of its useful life and beyond that point. Um, any other questions on this item? Motion to recommend. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed, so voted. Thank you. Okay, Article 11, see if town meeting will vote to appropriate $150,000 from free cash to resurface or reconstruct municipal parking lots, also sponsored by the DPW director. Um, Bill. Okay, so this is something that I've been working with uh, the CFO on, on how we can program funding for replacement of our parking lots as they as they age and deteriorate. And some of the priorities that are in the worst condition are currently the uh, the fire department, DPW, and, and actually Lomansky is actually deteriorated uh, significantly as well. Um, not knowing what the outcome is going to be for police and fire um, with with this with the study uh, that is about to commence, I believe. Uh, we felt as though this 150 would probably target DPW's lot first. And initially the article was drafted uh, to include uh, specifically for DPW, but we felt as though if the bids come in lower in their additional funds, some of the lots um, may be at a point where we could just overlay them. So then if there's additional funding remaining, we would then resurface either town hall or uh, library. We can evaluate, you know, which ones in more need at that time. So this will go towards the municipal lots. We do have, I believe, 150,000 that we programmed um, FY 2023. Okay, for uh, to continue on with this process because I think Lomansky was the the most expensive with upper and lower. Although parts of upper don't belong to the town, I think we're looking at close to 300,000. So we're trying to, you know, uh, get a step in the right direction on getting the funding in place in the CIP, but also move forward now with uh, some of the improvements. What's what's the timing on this? The use of these funds. If this is approved, um, we could do. I probably put that in the uh, the next bid in the spring, mm -hmm. so it would happen next next year, construction season. Okay. Am I the only one here that noticed the DPW lot gets done first? <laughs> I mean, I know I use it a lot, but I, which is a great thing. It's in pretty rough shape. <laughs> oh, it is. Oh, no doubt about that. Kevin? Just, and, and you sort of went into it, uh, so the upper Lemansky, the DCR is the property owner for I, th I always thought that entire upper, but not. It's it's not the entire lot. It's a, a large percentage. If I was to guesstimate, it probably s at least 75 percent would be DCR, but there is a portion of where the property line is showing, at least on our GIS maps, that belongs to the town. Um, so we would be responsible for the town's portion, and then obviously Lowell Mansky's pretty sizable parking lot and entrance drive coming in as well. In any discussions uh, as you move forward to that with DCR to try and time, I mean, that, that upper lot near the hockey rink is just atrocious. I mean, you can't even, right. the lines don't exist anymore. I mean, any given Saturday, Sunday, it's a, just a. I mean, it's, it's a great idea and it's probably something that um, we should start looking into soon. So if it's something they have on their radar, maybe we can work with them on doing both projects at the same time. Yeah, good point. On the plus side, you can't drive fast in that park. No. <laughs> that is bad. Any other questions on this? Motion to recommend. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Those so voted. Um, before we get to Article 12, I did ask uh, Bill if he could give us just a real quick update uh, on the roadway improvement project. He, he went a little bit at length with the uh, Board of Selectmen, and I asked him not to go into that much sure. detail. Uh, but we're making some pretty good progress. Absolutely. Nice to hear. When we talk roads, I tend to get into too much detail, I think, sometimes. But uh, I'll try to be brief. So we went out to bid um, for the beginning of the year's contract, and P.J. Albert was a successful contractor. Um, 
to date, we've spent about $1.7 million and completed 20, at least 24 roadways at this point in that contract. Uh, we, we still have one remaining road um, with PJ Albert on Prospect Street that we are hoping they'll be starting within the next couple of weeks. Um, so that would go from Granger's Corner, the shop bend at the top of the hill to the Oxford line. That'll complete their, con uh, their contract and their projects and totaling about $2 million for about four miles of roadway. And then a few weeks ago, we went out to bid for another contract and PJ Keating was the low bidder. I think they won the bid by about $5,000. So it was very, very tight bidding mm -hmm. on, on that particular project. That contract was $807,000 for 1.8 miles of roadway. And we've been meeting with them. Um, they are just finishing up on some contracts in Worcester. And, you know, it was good. the timing was perfect for them. I think that's why they came in aggressively, because they want to finish out the year. Um, and I think uh, we were a good fit for how much work this contract would be. So they're actually going to be starting next, next week, I'm told. So next Wednesday, lowering structures. They'll probably have two crews coming in and, and at once to kind of tackle this aggressively to get as much done before winter as we can. And so uh, they'll be starting on uh, Knowles Street neighborhood. And I, I'm trying to be brief, but the, those streets are Fletcher Drive, Knowles, Packet Ave, South Terrace, Windsor, and Winter. So that's a whole neighborhood. We're hoping to get those all done before winter. I mean, next year we probably have to loam and seed because I don't think the grass is going to grow by the time we, we finish. Um, and then we have Central Street. We're going to mill the half width coming up because some of the roads in decent shape. The sidewalks are in good shape all the way up to RH Whites. Then we're going to mill full width and then reconstruct the sidewalks as well. Depending on the timing, we're gonna, we may tackle that this year if the weather cooperates and the work is proceeding quickly. And then the three other roads, uh, we have uh, uh, Grandview, Faneuf, and Renard Drive. And so that would be at a later date, whether or not we probably won't get to those this year, um, but it all depends on the weather and how quickly they move. And otherwise we'll go in the spring. Good. So. Mm -hmm. well, that's good. The, the work they did this year on those streets over this section of town. Great stuff and a lot of, a lot of kudos. Uh, very responsive. We've been very happy with PJ Albert. We've had them for the past, I think, four or five years now. Um, I've heard good things about PJ Keating as well. So we're hoping that we're just as happy with them. And the good thing is we're going to have two contractors working in town and P PJ Keating putting double the size crews and then PJ Albert working on prospects. So in the next, next month, month and a half, we'll see a lot of work going on in town again. Good. Thanks for the update on that. Thank you. Uh, moving on to Article 12, unless there's some questions or comments on that. Okay. Uh, see if town meeting will vote to appropriate <coughs> $7,200 from free cash to provide grant matching funds for the rehabilitation of Leesville Pond Dam, also sponsored by the DPW director. Bill? Okay, thank you. Uh, so Lees Leesville Pond Dam, uh, the last report that we had rated the dam in poor condition. And when I, when I saw the condition, I was kind of surprised because the, the dam itself I, is really not in poor condition. But what triggers the poor rating is the, the trees within 20 feet of the dam is a, basically a checklist. And if these things happen, it, by default, it goes into a poor category. So because of that, we need to move forward with um, clearing the embankments on Leesville Pond Dam. So this is the dam um, down at Hope Avenue at the, where the roundabout is, which is kind of odd. It's in Worcester. But Auburn owns the dam. We'd love to give it to Worcester, but I'm sure they won't take it. I'm not sure how it came, came about, but we do own that dam. So we applied for um, grant funding somewhere, I don't have the exact number, but probably in the vicinity of $180,000 in grants. Um, and we, we are still waiting to hear whether or not we're successful with the, with the grant funds. Um, if we are, this would be our match, which I believe is 20% match. Um, unfortunately, if we're not successful, we're going to have to look next year towards funding um, the improvements in that area. So it's, again, mainly slope stabilization once the trees have been removed uh, with riprap. Um, so it's kind of a tight area to work. So to get in there, we're estimating somewhere around the order of $220,000 uh, to complete the project. So that's down by the rotary, down by, that's, that's ours. We own that dam, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> well said, Ed. Well said. Who does the work on this, by the way? 
on the inspections? No. The, this we would we would have to go out to bid. We were looking at tackling some of the work by DPW staff, um, but some of the key people that are currently out are my tree people. And, um, and the more I think about it, I think it's something that might be a little bit more than we can handle with everything else we have going on. So uh, we'd have to go out to bid for it. So. I guess bid somewhere if it was 90 degrees and you guys were all in bathing suits and <laughs> dropping trees into the pond, but yeah, that's a bad visual. That's yeah, <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. All right. Hmm. Any other questions on this or or legitimate mm -hmm. comments? Motion recommends. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? So voted. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Well, I think we're all set. Thank you. Great to see you. Thanks Thank for you the too. update. Thank you. Uh, our next article, Article 13, uh, see if town meeting will vote to appropriate $5,000 from available funds, dog licenses, uh, I guess that's account number 261-0182, kennel revolving account, account number 2470-4840 as seed money for the purpose of animal care, veterinary medical expenses and maintenance, or act on anything relative thereto. Any questions on this? I know our DDS director, Darlene Coyle, is here for any questions on this. Question um, for Ed. Is, yeah. is this to establish the account, or we already have it, and this is to put some money? This, uh, the account has already been established. This is actually seed money okay. uh, to advance it so mm -hmm. we're not deficit spending, which, yep. we, which we can't. Motion and then we'll right. recoup that through uh, various fees. Mm -hmm. Motion to recommend. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So voted. Thank you. Okay. Uh, article 14, uh, a very long article. This is regarding zoning, solar bylaws. I actually tried watching a little bit of the planning board meeting last night. And uh, Matt Bonoyne, I love him, but he nearly put me to sleep on this. Actually, very detailed stuff here. Um, but I don't think it really falls under our purview. I'll, uh, Accept a motion to defer this to the petitioner. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 So voted. So I think that's all our articles tonight. And uh, no disrespect to the folks that keep an eye on the solar thing. That's just a, a, a big bear out there that I'm glad we're actually getting in front of. So that's a good thing. Uh, and that's our uh, article. So um, let's see what we have next. Uh, I, I made some approve some verbal transfers, mostly, I think, just closing out budgets related. Uh, so I'm looking for ratification of those unless there are any questions on those. I did send them out via email to everyone, I think it was two months ago today. Uh, so if there aren't any questions, okay, that's, uh, that's great. Um, our next item is reorganization. We don't have all seven here, but we've got six of us here. So I think at this point, Sharon, do I turn the meeting over to you for? Yes. <clears throat> do you want the gavel? No, thank okay. you. <laughs> um, I'll open the floor to nominations for chairman of the finance committee. I make a motion for Kevin Hussey. Second. Is there a second? I move to close nominations. Thanks. Um, all those in favor of Mr. Hussey? Aye. 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 It's, a, it's a unanimous vote. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, I believe now we'll need to open nominations for vice chairman. Make a motion for Ann Kavanaugh. Second. Um, Close nominations. Okay. How do, how do we do this? <laughs> she moved to close it. Um, there were no other nominations, so can move to close the nominations, and there'd be a second. Okay. And we have a second on that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Post so voted. Okay, thank you. It's probably the earliest we've reorganized, <laughs> at least since I've been doing this, right? You closed the nominations, but did we vote? Did we vote? No, we voted, we voted to, close. to close the nominations. Right. Now you got to ask so, for a vote. vote All right, enough. and the vote for Ian as vice chair. All in favor? Aye. 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 Great. Thank you. Thank you. Don't assist long, you still can't get it right. Uh, any questions on minutes from February 21st, 2018? Sharon, thank you for doing that work. Okay, there being none, I, I guess our last is, well, uh... <laughs> Sorry about that. So I think uh, given the article that we did not vote on, 
Uh, mm -hmm. I guess, Ed, we'll be in touch with you in terms of, well, we should set a meeting time anyways before. My concern is if it's gonna be a longer presentation that we have enough time to allow the police to educate us on what they're trying to do with. So uh, what, what time is town meeting? Is it seven o'clock? Mm -hmm. Seven, yeah. All right. Um, I don't know. Well, why don't we meet at uh, 6.30? Mm -hmm. uh, unless we get some other better information and maybe we can meet at quarter seven instead. But let's let's agree to meet at 6.30 and I believe that's on the 20, Third. Third? Third of October. That's great. Uh, any other questions, comments, mm -hmm. anything else said? Mm -hmm. All right, that's Motion great. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.